This week, we report on the Russian salmon fishery as the season marks a high with an explosive 100,000 metric tons harvest just over the past week. But as the season heats up, Russian officials are warning of possible shortages in cold storage capacity. All I've done with this filet is thawed it out. This was a beautiful frozen piece of sockeye salmon. I slacked this out overnight, thawed it in the refrigerator. Simple salt, a couple of pats of butter on top, and then a mixture I love of allspice and black pepper ground together, equal parts just on top, and then 280 degrees in the trusty toaster oven. There it is, and well, if you've got dinner in 22 minutes with just a little forethought, there you go. Salmon fishing in Russia's Far East has entered the active stage, and at the time of reporting, current harvest totals for Russian Pacific salmon reached 200,000 metric tons, which is 2.5 times more than the pace of 2020. Over the past week alone, the catch increased by more than 100,000 metric tons, which is equivalent to fishermen catching an average of 20,000 metric tons of salmon per day. Breaking down by species, 180,000 metric tons of pink salmon have been harvested, followed by about 7,000 metric tons of chum, 11,000 metric tons of sockeye, and a combined total of 347 metric tons for coho, king, and cherry salmon. According to Russian forecasts, they are now predicting this year's harvest to exceed 460,000 metric tons, which would be 57.5% higher than last year's harvest of 292,000, but 8.5% lower than 2019's harvest of 499,000 metric tons. Although a large wild salmon harvest is good news, this particular high yielding odd year harvest potentially faces a cold storage bottleneck in the very near future. As the logistics situation worsens and Russian trampers continue to be banned entry into China, both federal and local fishery authorities are voicing concern that the salmon season in Kamchatka may run into a shortage of cold storage capacity. In Kamchatka, fishermen are forecasted to harvest about 350,000 metric tons of salmon this year. However, the volume of onshore cold storage in the region is limited to about 200,000 metric tons. Although Russia will find some relief in moving product to the EU, Japan, and Vietnam, if China continues to not import from Russia, there will be more supply of Russian-caught Pacific salmon than there are customers for the product. As pink, chum, and sockeye are the primary species harvested and produced by Russia, our recommendation is to contact Tradex Foods to develop a Russian salmon sourcing strategy, as there may be some unique and favorable opportunities here. For chum salmon specifically, with Alaska's chum harvest looking like the run has already peaked, the market is likely to see about the same amount of chum salmon out of Alaska as last year, where 8.5 million chum were harvested. Global salmon production this year is forecasted to amount to 930,000 metric tons from all major wild salmon producing countries around the world. Alaska continues to be the world's second largest wild salmon producer with 190 million fish forecasted to be harvested in 2021. Expect spotty supply of salmon out of British Columbia, Canada down to California as this region continues to see diminishing salmon stocks. Keep tuned in here as we continue to bring you the pulse on the salmon market throughout the summer salmon season. If you are not already, be sure to subscribe to our 3-Minute Market Insight using the sign up for below to keep tuned in to all upcoming market insights. Thank you for joining me for the Tradex Foods 3-Minute Market Insight. This has been Rochelle Ryerson reminding you to stay safe, buy smart, and eat more seafood.